Fox News and Facebook did to our parents what they said video games would do to us. I'll stick to the Nintendo. Wear a mask. Don't oh, tell me twice, Joe. <laughs> what? Might as well carry a purse with that mask, Joe. Hey, fellas, is it gay to survive a pandemic? Uh, I mean, yeah, just a little bit, but it's okay. <laughs> I've been informed by several angry Twitter people that if I support folks tearing down statues of Christopher Columbus, I should also support the teardown of statues of the Muslim Prophet Muhammad. As a Muslim, I say go right ahead and tear down every single statue of Muhammad, because here's here's a, here's a fun fact that I just learned. Uh, so I, I, had to, I had to double Google to make sure I was right. Um, yeah, no, if you're Muslim, you're gonna say, yeah, tear that, tear that down, it's defensive. <laughs> Like the whole thought behind it is it's thought to encourage the worship of idols and they're like, nah, bo. Nice argument, Twitter morons. Hey, jackass, we use oof, pyro? <laughs> <laughs> In this country. Um, Wales is an Australian magazine and we use metric measurements. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> look buddy, you're on the internet, which is American. Therefore you can use American the best. Did, wait, did, who wrote this comment? <laughs> Therefore you can use American the best measurements. You're on the internet, okay, which is American, obviously. Therefore you can use American the best measurements. We have inches and centimeters and feet. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, the World Wide Web was first developed in CERN. I don't blame you for not knowing that, though. You're apparently an American. Got him, dude. Got him. Roasted and toasted. Uh, if vaccines were healthy, you could put it on a spoon and eat it. Try it. You'll. Oh, this is a classic post. Try it. You'll die. A, uh, if broccoli was healthy, you could put it in a syringe and inject it into your bloodstream. Try it, you'll die. I mean, he's got a point. Dude, the dead ass used Getty Images photos of a shark and cropped it onto their poster. <laughs> the DCEU is a joke. Uh, that's what stock photos are for. Did you think they actually photographed a dude chilling with sharks? You're a dumb, dumb, dummy, dumb, dumb person. I don't get people like Bezos. If I had billions of dollars, I would impulsively start fixing stuff. Homeless vets? I don't think so. Hungry children? Not on my watch. He could be Batman. What a waste. This is what Bill Gates did start doing with his money. Now internet morons blame him for every conspiracy they can think of. And he's still not Batman. Bill Gates, malaria? Not on my watch. Starving Africans? I don't think so. Incoming global pandemic? Hope I can teach people how to avert it. Brainlets? Bill Gates wants to spy on everyone and started COVID-19. You know how I know? The nine is merely an inverted upside down G. A G for Gates. <laughs> Hey, uh, I fixed your Wi-Fi. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. Well, how come my home Wi-Fi isn't showing? Because you're not at home. <laughs> Stupid ass people I deal with. Yeah, drive 10 miles, tell me if it picks up. Ex-Houston police officer said he was in DC during the pro-Trump riot for business. Attended the president's rally on a whim and did not enter the Capitol building. That's when an FBI agent showed him his own deleted images and videos from inside the Capitol Rotunda on January 6th. That was his business. <laughs> These bum ass Canadians don't even have Cash App. I like that that's a sign of how well you're doing, whether or not you have Cash App. Uh, universal healthcare. Anybody 18 years, anybody 18 years of age can vote. A multi-party political system. During the pandemic, $2,000 a month was given to impacted workers. Weed is legal. And instead of Cash App, we have e-transfer, which is free. Good day. Eats poutine in peace. Millionaire makes $20 million in 2020. Millionaire hires artist to make art for 25K. Artist puts one streak on canvas. Millionaire. Thanks artist and has art appraised by an appraiser in his same circle of friends. <laughs> appraiser, values artwork at 20 million. Millionaire donates $20 million artwork to a museum to get a $20 million tax write-off. And the millionaire therefore pays no taxes in 2020. All right, no, that's okay. I'm understanding so far. Me at museum, this is stupid. It's just a line on a canvas. Hipster next to me, nah. You just don't understand it because you're uncultured. Cause you're not making 20 million in 2020. Capitalism, what you know about it, clearly not enough. 
Just to prove that the election was rigged, who really won? Sleepy Joe. <laughs> Donald Trump, American flag, red, white, and blue. 90% overwhelming majority for Trump. <laughs> Democrats are cheating in this poll too. This is unbelievable. I saw a job post the other day. It required four plus years of experience and fast API. I couldn't apply as I only have 1.5 plus years of experience since I created that thing. Maybe it's time to reevaluate that years of experience equals skill level. I developed fast API and I couldn't even apply for the job. Unbelievable. People say, well, what did people do before vaccines slash antibiotics slash pasteurization? As if that's an argument for going natural. They died, Carol. A lot of people died. That's what happened. Well, if the Lord wants what he wants. No, no. Is America in a better place than we were four years ago? Yes, I'm doing much better. I'm literally making four times as much as I was making when Obama was president. What do you do? I work for a debt relief company. Oh, bud. <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> I've been called a lot of names and accused of a lot of things by ER patients, but it's surreal to have a patient accuse me of falsifying their COVID result because they don't believe the virus is real, as I'm actively trying to keep them from dying from multi-organ failure from COVID. <laughs> Just on the bed, pull the plug. I'll die I'd rather die before I take your dead G Bill Gates virus. The nine is an inverted G. <laughs> <laughs> I put on a mask and literally within seconds, I'm struggling to breathe. Well, the surgeon who wore a mask for six hours to reconstruct my knee thinks maybe you're lying and also a drama queen. Just a, just a thought. Oh boy, can't wait to get my $600 stimulus check and immediately send it to a credit card company where it will disappear without a trace and not stimulate sh <laughs> I plan to use $400 to open a restaurant. The rest will use this down payment on a house. The Lego house, how you... <laughs> I use that $200 for that. You too could beat COVID. At first sign, helicopter to the best hospital. Check into a six room suite and get 24 hour team service. Get the newest drugs and treatments. Return home to full time in house medical staff and facility. Have your government pay all the bills. Then tell everybody how easy it is. Sounds like something that happened, didn't it? Not only do masks reduce your O2 and increase your CO2 intakes, which makes your wheeze or gasp, but they also provide perfect warm, damp breeding grounds for pathogens to breed breathe in. That will progressively make you ill. For those who want more respiratory illnesses, job done. Uh, absolutely none of that is true. And your exact qualifications for stating that are? Uh, a degree in medicine and the fellowship of the Royal College of Anesthesiasts, for which I was examined in respiratory physiology and the mechanics of gas transfer. What are yours? Infowars? <laughs> you know, Americans are actually just gonna go extinct when they're putting in ventilation grills into their into their masks. I mean, she's wearing it wrong anyway. Aren't the sides supposed to not stick out like that? I don't know. There are two types of people in this world. Those who are extra polite from incomplete data. So two of my classmates just asked her professor if shirt's missing a second part. Nah, it's a joke, get it? Atheists, if God isn't real, how do you explain walking on water? Can you walk on water like Jesus? Yeah. Show me a video of you walking on water. I don't need to. You just need to have faith that I did. Isn't that what you all about anyway? I accidentally hit the language button on my remote last night and watched Family Guy in Spanish for 10 minutes thinking it was a weird joke. To be fair, that seems like something they would do. I don't blame you for that, man. I'm a black cop. On the scene of a shooting one night, using a flashlight to look for a bullet casing between houses to complete his evidence, dispatch gets a call of a suspicious looking black male in quote police clothes, using a flashlight to look into people's houses. <sighs> Damn. Oh, there's not even a joke for that. That's just awful. The power went out on Halloween. So my friend and I still wanted to make tea. We had to do this. It took 40 minutes, but it worked. But it's gas, not electric. You could have lit the burner with a lighter. I'm just saying. Your power went out on Halloween? You were almost murdered, my friend. <laughs> the ghosts took you for for a haunting. Millennial dads have pathetic DIY skills compared to baby boomers. Oh yeah? Well, baby boomers have pathetic blacksmithing skills compared to 9th century Saxons, all right? I got dumped for having red hair. My boyfriend's mom didn't want to risk having ginger grandchildren, so she made him dump me. He married a blonde and had two ginger kids. Karma, my kids are blonde. The mom gets what she deserves. If I have a medical emergency, don't you dare call an ambulance. Y'all better Uber my ass to the hospital because we're not about to pay 5,000 bucks for a ride in the Wii U wagon. Everyone outside of the USA. <laughs> what the hell? You, you gonna pay 5,000 for a ride in the Wii U wagon?
tough. You want socialized medicine? Tell me again about how good Canadian healthcare is. Tell me about the wait times for serious medical procedures. Did you guys learn anything from the complete failure of Obamacare? My husband needed brain surgery. World-class neurosurgeons removed a wedge of his skull, used lasers to remove scar tissue on his temporal lobe, and then put his skull back together. My biggest expenses were parking and snacks for stress eating. So yeah, no, I think it worked. With his handmade keychains that go for $5 each, this eight-year-old boy raised $4,015 to erase the lunch debt of students from his school and six others. So he like helped seven schools? Or did he help just six people? I don't know. Either way, that's amazing. But what this really should say is that an eight-year-old does months of manual labor so his friends who are children can afford to eat without going in the debt. That's what the article should say, but... Uh, America the Great! Ah, bah, bah, bah. <laughs> I know the more jokes you have about America being kind of sh**, people are gonna be like, you don't like it, leave. No, I'm lazy. Like comparatively, I'm doing just fine, but I can recognize that it's crappy for other people, you know? And then do something to help with that in any way I can. You know, I think that's like a, a general, like you can recognize it and then, oh, whatever. I'm going on a tangent. Fauci, wearing two masks is better than one. <laughs> I'm old enough to remember when he said masks don't work at all. Hey, yo, Blair White, this you? Normalize changing your opinion upon receiving new information. It won't kill you, I promise. You know what will kill you though? Not wearing a mask and going into a highly populated area. Imagine living in a country without universal health care. Then a pandemic hits and the government still doesn't try to do universal health care. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Welcome to Clowning on America for 20 minutes. A hospital cancels an elderly patient's COVID vaccine appointment because he has an outstanding medical debt of $243. This is gonna piss me off. Like, this is gonna make me mad, man. I can already feel my blood boil a little bit. Kendall Jenner ate grilled cheese, fries, crepes, and more before hitting the Met Gala red carpet. Now that is bravery. What? <laughs> Who wrote this? Bring me who wrote this. <laughs> I just wanna talk. I live in Syria and this story gave me the strength to carry on. Thank you for sharing her story of eating food before going to a public event. This is a mask, this is a chin guard. Nobody told you to wear a chin guard. Wear a mask. Yeah, no, wear, wear a mask. That, he's not wrong. Wear one, it's, pretend it's Halloween and you're, your costume is a surgeon. FBI raids Brooklyn man's home after he hoarded over 5,000 boxes of N95 masks and was trying to sell them at 700% markup. Cool! None of the insulin manufacturers next. Ugh, Nasi, uh, Guevara, that's, uh, that's what you call an industry. <laughs> We can't mess with our capitalism. Oh no, man. I, 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 I wish we went back to the barter system. Give me two chicken. I want two chicken. I'm not allowed back in Lebanon. I was banned from the Middle East, which is crazy because they're the ones who watch my videos the most. Statistically, Muslim countries consume more porn than anyone else. The men who are yelling at me are the same men who are clicking on me. I just thought that was interesting. The United States devolved into riots again. Sad. Obama needs to resign. A real leader does not let the country fall this low. By the way, in a couple years, we're gonna have this funky little speech, and then we're gonna all take a, take a walk, we're gonna tour Washington, D.C., go to the Capitol, me and all of us, all of my, all of my friends, all of my rowdy friends from college. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, cannot believe that dude got uh, impeached twice. History, my kids history books are gonna look really weird when we get to the Donald Trump chapter. If you use facial recognition for anything, the government has your face, lol. Hey yo, wait until you find out about driver licenses. I've known people that wear a mask religiously and have still gotten the virus. Uh yeah. <sighs> I've known people who obey speed limits and traffic lights still get into car accidents. People who didn't smoke get lung cancer. How many helmeted kids get hurt on bikes? The fact that no safety precaution is 100% effective is not an excuse to act irresponsibly. With your profile picture of a shocked looking man, no. I'm shocked. Japan has less than 1,000 COVID deaths. They never went into full economic shutdown. They have an unemployment rate of 2.6%. How'd they do it? Virtually everybody wears a mask. Americans have no idea how freaking stupid they look on the world stage. On the world stage, we're the janitors. <laughs> Trump tells Fox News Radio he didn't retreat into White House bunker for protection from potential intruders, but instead to examine the place. It was much more of an inspection. No, no, see, Your Honor, I didn't sh 
myself, I was testing the capacity of my pants. That's all. My girlfriend is currently crying because she thought the $70 she wanted to spend on adopting a koala bear from the Australian brush fires was actually going to physically get her a koala bear. Like, they would just FedEx that to us and not just her become a sponsor. You don't want a koala bear, first of all. Hey, yo. <laughs> Send her a drop bear. <laughs> Send her a drop bear, send her some Ozomite, and a note that says good luck. <laughs> One time I was late to practice, and coach made me run laps. My dad was the coach, and he drove me to practice. But I had to run laps because I was late. Whatever. Alright, cool. Whatever. Sure. I spent 50 years of my life studying viruses just so I could trick rednecks into wearing paper masks. That was my career goal. Five decades of hard work, blood, sweat, and tears went into a funny prank. Okay. MAGA themed wedding pays tribute to Trump. How empty is your life when you make your wedding about another man? Not even the man you're marrying. Yeah. All right. The four COVID personality types spotted at a local grocery store. One believes in science, one denies science, one doesn't understand science, and the final believes in magic. Because of mail-in ballots, 2020 will be the most rigged election in our nation's history, unless this stupidity is ended. Okay, believe me. We voted during World War I and World War II with no problem, but now they're using COVID in order to cheat by using mail-ins. Wait, Donnie, do you believe World War I and World War II were fought on our shores? Are you aware that the men serving abroad in those wars voted by mail? Trump? You, you know this? This is a, what do you think, they took a timeout? A person infected with measles went to a Portland Trailblazers game last week and got 22 people infected. The year is 2019, not 1819, and this happened. No way I can do this. But someone should count the number of times Obama uses the term I in his ridiculous 700 page book. We might have here the greatest egoist of all time, at least outside of lunatic asylums. Oh no. What kind of monster writes their memoir in the first person? Yeah, make a great point, bud. The USPS is viewed favorably by 91% of Americans despite billions in losses annually. Uh, it's a service. It doesn't lose money, it costs money. No one says the military loses 750 billion a year. I'ma start saying that. I'm just wondering when are these televangelists have been showing up at hospitals and performing miracles on all the coronavirus patients. Don't let Kenneth Copeland do it, it'll zap your youth. <laughs> Why does it look like that for every single one? All televangelists look like they like survive off of the life force of other people. Reaching their hand out to touch your forehead, you instantly age, and the one wrinkle goes away on Kenneth Copeland's forehead. And he goes, ha, ha, ha. The bank says I can't afford a $950 mortgage, so I pay $1,400 a month in rent instead. Figured that works out. Why do I need an AR-15? Because someday the government may tell me I'm not allowed to put my sick son on a plane and fly him to Italy for treatment. And believe me when I tell you I will be putting him on that plane. I need an AR-15 in case I need to hijack a plane to fly my son to a country with social healthcare is currently my favorite take on gun ownership because it completely avoids the real problem at hand with what you're stating. Drop the AR-15 and open up healthcare for everybody for free. My sister started eighth grade and it's all on Zoom and today she got in trouble because she got up to get water during class. As she's getting yelled at, she looks at me and says, how does bitch go to me? I can't get water in my own house. <laughs> Hey, fair enough. During this pandemic, you really see who your real friends are. Who's checking up on you? Making sure you're okay. Remember that when this is all over. You know, I feel like we need to constantly remind ourselves that the entire world does not revolve around us. Testing people's loyalties during a pandemic is narcissistic. At, at best, narcissistic. At worst, you're a terrible person. Use his metric system, use his metric system, use his metric system. Uh, all of them. But only one's been to the moon. Uh, you know that NASA uses the metric system? But they didn't go to the moon. America did, says the Donald Trump Jr. Facebook post. I feel like that'd be a legitimate counter argument he would make. I don't know, I just, I see it. Today I learned that New Zealand let health experts make the decisions about how to deal with the pandemic rather than politicians, and as of today, they have zero COVID cases. Wow, it's almost as if science and common sense works. And that was in July of 20, wow. Makes me jealous, makes me jealous. Last week, my daughter was sent home from school to change a pair of shorts she was wearing they said were too short. This week, the health district issued a mandatory mask in public order, and schools said they don't have anything they can do for non-compliance. I mean, like, sending them home? Wishing all our loved ones, neighbors, and friends across the country lighting their first candle night a beautiful happy Hanukkah. Oh, uh, what's wrong with wishing us a Merry Christmas? Uh, because it's the first night of Hanukkah, not Christmas yet. It's the 10th, buddy. So, Christmas is a month-long occasion. Starts in November. School boards. We don't have the power to enforce a mask policy on students. 
Also school boards. No dreadlocks, no haircuts with designs, no distracting hair colors, no visible shoulders, no bra strap showing, no knees showing, no open toe shoes, no political shirts. You get the point. It's been an interesting day. To anyone frustrated with the Robinhood investment app, I'm not the CEO you're looking for. <laughs> We're comp <laughs> wrong guy. Wrong guy, everybody. Oops. Norway is the happiest country in the world. What's the secret? Wow. I can't believe that a wealthy country with free healthcare and education, high wages, a strong middle class, and a nearly a month paid vacation time by law is happy. Unbelievable. If you're having a bad day, remember that we unloaded 6,000 bricks in the wrong address. Ooh. Yo, is that Tom Holland in the back? <laughs> It looked a little bit like him at first. Yo, Tom, you training for the new movie? This morning, the young barista woman told me that a customer came in with a mask, but not wearing it. When she asked the customer to put on her mask, please, the woman said, why? There's no one in here. That customer not seeing the barista as a someone very much tracks my anecdotal experience of non-mask wearers. That, that, that about tracks, yeah. Barber shaves triangle into man's hair after he pauses video of a model he wanted to look like. Ooh. Well, now you look like a, a walking YouTube video. Hell yeah. Imagine being Bill Gates right now. You spend 30 years of your life and $50 billion of your own money supporting humanitarian causes. You directly save hundreds of thousands of lives in Southeast Asia by providing anti-malaria netting to half of a continent. You drop infant mortality rates throughout the entire developing world by funding vaccine programs, including vaccinating 40 million children for polio. And amongst a plethora of philanthropic endeavors, you fund free education platforms like Khan Academy so people can have free access to high quality education. Then after donating half of your wealth to charity and pledging 90% of the remainder to charity in your will, arguably doing more to better life on earth for humanity than any other human being to ever live, you hop on the internet, only to find a million scientifically illiterate imbeciles that are using the very computers you pretty much invented in the first place to call you a child murdering archvillain antichrist because they watch a YouTube video made by some other yokel with a comprehension of a potato. Imagine being Bill Gates. Christians and Muslims are brothers and sisters, and we must act as such. Why don't you ask Muslims to convert to Christianity? Please read John 14, 6. Yo, did you just seriously ask the Pope to read the Bible? When I was 17, I worked at a bagel place, and each night we loaded dumpsters of bagels from the day. A homeless man came in and asked for a bagel, and rather than throw them out, I gave him a few in a plastic bag. My boss reviewed the cameras and fired me for, quote, feeding the animals. And that is what radicalized me. I paid $2,000 a month in rent for my family's home. I made every payment on time during COVID. A mistake made either by me or the payment system, I really don't know, caused me to underpay my rent this month by $2.51. I just received a letter from my rental company threatening eviction unless I pay my balance immediately. My property management company is threatening to kick me and my family out of my home for 0.01% of my rent, but I still have to wait two weeks for them to fix a sink. So, glad that there's that standard. Hey, how you gonna be called Robin Hood then start shutting down when Robin Hood stuff starts happening? Huh? Weirdos. <laughs> In light of current market volatility, we are restricting transactions for certain securities position closing only, including AMC and GME. Hey yo, is this you? You said let the people trade in 2016? Is that you? Dwayne The Rock Johnson recently told people that he decided to watch Moana with his four-year-old daughter Jasmine and was extremely excited to reveal to her that he voiced Maui. I said, you know, that's daddy's voice and I'm gonna show you. Maui starts singing and then I start singing and within 10 seconds she's trying to put a pillow over my mouth and says you're ruining the song. Yeah, quiet down Dwayne. You're ruining the song, man. Scoop. The Wisconsin pharmacist who who sabotaged 500 doses of the Mardona, Moderna, Moderna. Coronavirus vaccine also believes the earth is flat and the sky is actually a shield put up by the government to prevent individuals from seeing God. What a, what a nutcase, oh my God. <laughs> Oh, he looks creepy. How are you gonna say all lives matter when just two months ago you wanted to sacrifice your grandma for the economy? Weirdos. Wouldn't it be nice if pro-lifers focused on suicide prevention, or ending the death penalty, or fighting poverty, or curbing hunger, or stopping gun violence and police killings, or combating the opioid epidemic, or ending wars? You know, things that would actually save lives. Yeah, me too. Friends, I'm desperate here. I am a newly non-vaccinator and I want to write about vaccination dangers for my final thesis in college. However, I have to use scholarly journals, etc., as my sources. When I search deep into GSU's library, every article seems to be pro-vax and nothing supporting my argument. Does anyone have some scholarly docs that I can use to prove my point effectively? Thank you all. 
You know, the fact that you can't find any journals to back up your viewpoint may suggest you need to reassess your viewpoint. No, I'm not wrong. The archives are incomplete. Schools are saying we can't enforce mask wearing as if they haven't enforced girls to cover up for decades. If you could send me home for wearing a tank top, you could send someone home for not wearing a mask. That's true, that's real, that's real. This is the standard vaccine composition. Which of these chemicals do you object to having in your body? And then he lists a bunch of chemicals. And this person goes, all of them, really? Because I've just given you the chemical composition of an apple, which is living testimony to the fact that anti-vaxxers aren't qualified to know what they're scared of. I thought you should know that. Don't bother calling for takeout. They put you on hold and never come back. Oh, I'm sorry for your inconvenience. The server taking your order had a seizure while doing so and couldn't complete the process. When you showed up to retrieve your order and it wasn't ready, even though there was an ambulance in front of the restaurant and we were tending to the medical emergency at hand, we offered to complete your order at that time. I'm sorry that you declined and chose to complain in a public forum. Van. Oh, man. I'm in my fist clench up, man. People are... <sighs> oh. Face palm showcases the worst in people, I think. Angela Merkel has a doctorate for her thesis on quantum chemistry. Our president called her stupid. But stupid is he needs two hands to sip from a small glass. If you want $15 minimum wage, don't complain when your Taco Bell order costs 38 bucks for a burrito. Uh, the most expensive Taco Bell burrito in Washington, D.C., where the minimum wage is already 15 bucks, costs $3.79. Jordan, Rachel. You moron, you dolt, you dingus. When you're five years old and it's your first day of school ever, and they expect you to know how to read, type, and send emails. Nah, you can just stare at the screen like monkey. I have lived next to the same guy for three years. Thought his name was Steve. I call him Steve. His name is Steve on my phone. I've been to his apartment. We've had dinner. His name is Brian. His dog is Steve. You had dinner with the dog? <laughs> my boyfriend turned down five fully paid scholarships just to stay here with me. I really love this man so much. Yo, your boyfriend dog as hell he turned down five fully paid scholarships i know if my girlfriend had gotten any sort of fully paid scholarship i would be like do it you know pursue that i'm not gonna i'm not gonna test your loyalty to me by whether or not you're gonna turn down a good opportunity to pursue this to further your life that's stupid a georgia high school suspended two students for posting photos of crowded hallways with not a mask in sight <sighs> When someone praises socialism. <laughs> oh, hey, I'm an owl expert here, uh, known as an ornithologist. The owl is in fact orgasming. Thanks. Thanks for the info. Yahoo refuses to buy Google for $1 million in 1998. In 2002, Yahoo realizes its mistake and tries to buy Google for $3 billion. Google says, give us $5 billion, and Yahoo says no. In 2008, Yahoo refuses to be sold to Microsoft for $40 billion. In 2016, Yahoo has sold to Verizon for $4.6 billion. Don't be like Yahoo. Don't be too stubborn. If you need 144 rolls of toilet paper for a 14-day quarantine, you probably should have been seeing a doctor long before COVID-19. But of course, we don't believe in doctors, do we? Bernie Sanders should be forced to give away 90% of his birthday cake. Hashtag happy birthday, Bernie. Actually, this is how birthday cakes work when you have friends. You give away a lot of it. Don't buy Goodyear ties. Leave an extra bear on MAGA hats. Get better ties for less. This is what the radical left Democrats do. Two can play the same game, and we have to start playing it now. Well, Goodyear's chief competitors are Firestone slash Bridgestone, uh, Continental, Michelin, and Pirelli. So you're saying buy anything but American. Okay. All right. Which addiction's yours? <sighs> God, I just love Uber too much. I cannot stop ordering Ubers to my house and having them drive me to the nearest bus stop and calling another Uber to go to the next one just... It's a rush. Uber Eats just spent 5.5 million plus whatever it cost to get Cardi B, Mike Myers, and Dana Carvey to tell us to support local restaurants while putting local restaurants out of business by charging them 30% delivery fees. Nice. Hi, excuse me. I just found out that the professor for this online course I'm taking died in 2019, and he's technically still giving classes since he's literally my professor for this course, and I'm learning from lectures recorded before his passing. It's a great class, but what? What? Ghost Professor. After seeing half a country actively reject wearing a mask during a pandemic, I would like to apologize to the filmmakers of every horror movie ever made for calling their characters unbelievably dumb for going into the murder basement. Turns out that's exactly what we would do. People who leave their phones set to military time are frickin' war criminals. How do you look at 1605 and go, wow, I can't understand that. Bootlickers, what's next? You gonna join the army? Recruit me? Americans be like, okay, I can't count past 12, actually. Yeah, I can't, so what? <laughs> 
You're gonna call me out on that. I am literally locked inside a 24 hour fitness right now. They closed the doors and went home while I was swimming laps in the pool. Listen to the name suggest these stay open 24 hours. Walking around trying to figure out how to get out. I called Sandy Dispatch. They told me they'd call me back. I called my wife. She said find a comfortable place to sleep. What would I do if I was locked inside a 24 hour fitness? <laughs> what? What would I eat? Are those at 24 hour fitnesses? My Brianna just gave me a brilliant idea. I would have I would have sustenance. And I would have all the time in the world to get freaking swole. I would break the doors. What are they gonna do? I consumed all of their whey protein. Outdoor yoga and a dome pop-up coming in Toronto. So we just let the homeless sleep in the rain and snow because why? When we have these domes here? Alright, whatever. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I remember seeing this. I uh, remember back in November when that white dude tried to like post about being a black gay guy. It was clearly meant for an alt account he had. I'm a black gay guy and I can personally say that Obama did nothing for me. My life only changed a little bit and it was for the worse. Everything is so much better under Trump though. I feel respected, which I never do when Democrats are involved. By the way, my name is Dean Browning. I'm a white guy. Everyone makes mistakes, says Teen who kicked old man into river. <laughs> He just made the mistake of walking in front of my leg while I was kicking. I don't know what happened. All right, let me pull them covers off. There we go. You know, I took the diagnostic a couple of weeks ago and it said I had an IQ of 512. Did you tell someone about it? That sounds very important. <laughs> Ainsley Earhart proudly remembers the time that the United States, quote, defeated communist Japan, proving we are truly a great country. Fox News is informing viewers that our troops defeated, quote, communist Japan. We feel 20% more stupid just having typed that. Back to you. How about you just shove it in there? Yeah, just like that. Perfect. Yeah, just like that. Ah, uh, hey, um, which one of my favorite Australian editors are editing this one? What does it say? Can you tell me I can't read that? I can't find my house keys. I found them. Where? In the bathroom. Well, technically in my pocket while I was in the bathroom, if we're being super technical, but I found them. You're welcome. Water, one mile. Water, one kilometer. Americans, the mile, the mile, I know miles. Uh, but the Americans are right. A mile is less than a kilometer. A mile is 1.6 kilometers. Uh, oh no, that does make sense. Okay, okay, I get it. My brain, my brain was like, so if I went a, if I went a mile, I've gone 1.6 kilometers. Oh God, this is, okay, this is confusing my brain. No, a mile is longer than a kilometer, idiot. You're, you're an idiot. And you make me feel stupid that I had to Google it. How dare you? Here's an exchange that I'm currently having with my landlord. Hey, uh, the hot water's broken. How? Can you send me some photos? Well, it looks like this, but it's not hot. What do you mean send you some photos? The hot water isn't working. Cloaked in the fur of their slaughtered brethren. I think you have a fundamental misunderstanding of how yarn is made, my friend. Hello, lovely. It's spelled mom, not mum. Actually, it can be spelled as mum or mom. British English is a thing. <laughs> no, my lovely. Hey, don't call my your lovely. And it's a fact that it can be spelled as mum or mom. Uh, it's mom lovely. Damn, y'all are about to make me start saying mum instead of mom. Sheesh. Over this argument, little added, no lovely, it's not true. Like, that was so passive aggressive. They were like, you knew that, like, you wanted to say go f yourself, but we're just being too polite about it. Republican Gomert, what a name, asks whether federal agencies can fix climate change by altering orbit of the earth and moon <laughs> dream big gomer dream big you know i just saw this i guess it's safe this way what's what's going on here <laughs> through the through the wheel ain't no one taking that moped joe biden shoes away pesky chiquita and that is that is all the news we have for today it might be slow but hey now i know that biden is at least a a, a a bug hater he hates bugs and bugs are part of nature and so joe biden hates nature that's all i'm saying bro do you know newton's second law dude i'm a science student bro not a law student how dare you ask me that kind of bro you kidding me? Newton's second law? Uh, I don't know. Uh, go read a law book, maybe? Straight up thought my burger had a sticker that said no. <laughs>
but said knowing you're on and asked an employee what it meant. I just, I didn't know. UFC fighter does photo shoot with shorts on backwards. That's okay. But why does he look like he's about to cry? As Jacob Leandro pointed out. Today I learned a woman named Pamela Kramier died at a gender reveal party after her family members feel a steel umbrella stand with gunpowder. But instead of admitting a shower of sparks, the metal pipe could not take the overpressure acting like a pipe bomb. It's an accident. Yay. Goodbye, plastic bags. Hello, plastic bag. <laughs> Drive carefully. This is our pop pop. I don't give a sh <laughs> about your pop pop. Look at me ram into the back of your car. Your Elantra. Every second someone dies. Every second someone is born. So why isn't our population zero? Because that's not how it, you forgot the whole in between of living. <laughs> Got that whole part that could last anywhere from one to like a hundred years. Hi boss. Yes? I'm pregnant. What? So I need a few days leave now to discuss this with my boyfriend. Please approve my leave. Hey, how about you please first discuss this with my wife? She read your first couple of messages and why can't you type all this in one message? My wife wanted to clothesline me. Unbelievable. Boom, sorry, that was my Wall Street bets. It's sure weird how depression and anxiety are huge problems for young people in a society where everything costs more every year and every single human act gets monetized. On a planet that is boiling alive, yeah, it must be a coincidence. Oh, my poor parents bought me a pride balloon for my graduation because they thought it meant they were proud of me. It's the thought that counts. Oh my God, Brick is just sleeping at my feet. You good, dude? You okay? You are so sleepy. You're just the sleepiest boy, Brick. <laughs> He's so tired. Millennials aren't buying diamonds. Why? Uh, you know, too busy filling out job applications that ask them to attach their resume and then another one's on that same resume on the next page and it's a, it's a whole thing. The Space Force is unsure of who the good guys are in Star Wars. Oh boy. Well, that, that's off to a bad start. If you are stolen, call the police at once. You're welcome. I forgot to take my mask off in the sun and now I have tan lines. Hey bro, those are some sick ass tan lines. <laughs> now you know exactly how to apply your mask. I'm straight, but that's incredible. Yo, hey fellas, is it gay to like sunsets? Nah. All this people are equal nonsense. Oh wait, what? Hold on. All this people are equal nonsense is because we are led by women and they are socialists and men are merit-based. Men will say Steve is the fastest and kicks the ball furthest. Let's make him the captain. Women will say Jane is the best looking and fastest swimmer. Tell everyone she has herpes. Didn't a comedian make this joke? I'm pretty, this reads exactly like a, in a much <laughs> way, but it, this is, this reads like a, a joke a comedian said. If I find it, I'll, I'll I'll, I'll mention it in the comments, but I, I'm pretty sure this was a bad comedian set. You're not, you're not original, pal. Prize winner Amelia wanted us to point out that her teardrop tattoo is not because she murdered anyone. She accidentally killed a pedestrian once after falling asleep at the wheel and got the tattoo to honor their memory. All the while wearing a truckin' and <laughs> shirt. <laughs> Next week, they're entering the Amy Schumer lookalike contest for $500. America got Americans brainwashed thinking to live in the dream. Dude, my friends in the UK get like three months a vacation a year just traveling and laughing at <laughs> Living the dream, part of the capitalist machine. Let's go, baby. Pay the working people the extra 300 a week and see how fast the unemployed get employed. That's actually what we're trying to have happen. <laughs> that's, that's, that's actually the problem. You, you, you pointed it out perfectly, thank you. Parents, kids are more depressed these days. I wonder why. Kids, you destroyed the economy for us. The earth is literally dying. We are going to work until we die. And on top of that, the Nazis are back. Aw, oh, it's those pesky iPhones. I got dumped for having red hair. My boyfriend's mom didn't want to risk having ginger grandchildren. So she made him dump me. He married a blonde and had two ginger kids. Karma, my kids are blonde. Get absolutely rammed, buddy. Turns out my red is deception. <laughs> Oh, you tried to you tried to keep yourself anonymous, but the news failed you. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> a swing and a miss from <laughs> images that are unbelievably cringe. I love Twitter accounts like these. I can make an entire like series of videos going through these Twitter accounts because they're so. I love these like niche or niche, I don't know what, how you wanna pronounce it, but I love these niche little Twitter accounts. They're my favorite things online. Why the F is there a birthday candle for zero? Nobody turns zero years old. 
Uh, buddy, I hate to break it to you, but uh, when they're in the womb, pal, give them a cake. Right before the birth, like right before you go to the hospital when the water breaks, right there, cake, right there. Balenciaga and Crocs unveil their newest collab, stiletto clogs and platform rain boots. Slated for 2022, would you buy it? Uh, yes. Just because it's made of rubber doesn't mean I won't feel fancy wearing it. Just cause they're Crocs and I can put my little fancy Croc plugs in my Croc? Hell yeah. <laughs> Damn, girl. Are you a construction worker? Because you are building. What? <laughs> yeah, that's right. I keep biting my tongue when I talk, and I think it's because my tongue is swollen from some of the food I've eaten before, like in the last week. Um, and it gives me like this weird sound. It, like, it almost gives me like a lisp, and I hate it. I'm not, I'm not a lispy man, okay? Hey, Chris, looks like the power's out in the building. Oh, bummer. Don't know who's gonna take care of that. Well, hopefully you, Chris. <laughs> Your job, sir? Help? Oh, my tongue hurts, bro. I'm on the bus and this guy is so fine, but he has an iPhone 6. Yeah, and you're on a bus. Yeah, so, I mean, so what? Wait, what's wrong? Learn about Chinese culture off a Chinese Zodiac placemat for $1. It's the best way to do it. It's per it's a practically giving it away. Wood chopping board. Wipe clean only. Okay, wipe up spills immediately. All right, to avoid staining, of course. Do not soak, understood. Uh, do not use as a chopping board. <laughs> so what? what is it then? Is this just a decoration? Is this a conversation starter? What I, do you cook? No, I just pretend I do. That's why I have the wood chopping board that's not supposed to be used as a chopping board. <laughs> ah, yes. My favorite, some authentic, various, and confused pizzas. Mm -mm. This girl rescued a coyote thinking it was a dog and his face is priceless. Well, you know what? Now you have a new dog, a new coyote dog. Clearly he's not upset about it. He's like, oh, okay. I didn't expect this to be my Wednesday. <laughs> Yo, let's do this from keep. <laughs> let's do this to keep the potatoes from getting dirty. This is a good idea. All right, good job, everyone. We did it. <laughs> just in all caps. I do not like Puerto Rican. Like just yelling it from the heavens. Why? Why don't you? They disgust me. What do they be saying? Uh, you know, I I think they be saying nothing good, especially if it's uh about someone whose name sounds like I'm summoning an, uh, a demon. Oni Shinonial, or uh, sorry, Oni Shionial. Uh, what the f name? Did your parents play like Mad Libs, but they picked like, like your parents put letters in a hat and just until they were done, until the, the hat was empty. Oni Shionial, Jesus. Oh my God, I'm sweating. Outdoor yoga and a dome pop up coming to Toronto. So we just let the homeless sleep in the f rain and snow because why? We have pop up domes and y'all letting the homeless, why? Why? If you use facial recognition for anything, the government has your face. <laughs> Lol. Oh, wait until you find out about driver licenses. You're gonna be, you're gonna be shocked. Face covering should not. <laughs> Face coverings should not be worn in the water due to increased drowning risk. I didn't know people were wearing masks in the swimming pool. That is hilarious. Like I I, I'm all for the mask mandate, but I think the pool is the one place that the mask should come off because if you're going swimming, clearly you, you're, you're, <laughs> you're, you're, you're <laughs> Oh, that's rough. That's hilarious. Nothing is to be above, below, in front of fire extinguisher. Um, what about the paper above the fire extinguisher and the glass door in front of the fire extinguisher? Think about that. What about those two? Get them out of there. What the hell are you trying to make? Your toasty fail the bit. I think you're saying, why is it beans and bread? You, you know, you get like a, a value meal for like $5. Beans and bread. It's probably like a, a is this a British thing? Is this, is this British? I'm gonna look up a toasty. Oh, it's supposed to be a grilled cheese sandwich. They just filled theirs with beans. Weirdo. Noelle Gallagher calls Prince Harry fucking woke snowflake for dissing own family. Don't say bad things about your family, says the man who called his brother a man with a fork in a world of soup. Well, that just means his brother's not well off. It's not bad, it's just, you know, accurate. 
Alrighty. New poll asks people to name famous Asian Americans. 9% said Bruce Lee, 11% said Jackie Chan, 42% said don't know. Does that add up? I don't, I don't think that gets to 100. That's only, that's 62. Out of, out of, uh, out of 100 percent of the people you asked, only 62 was respond. I don't understand why you have percentages. I wish we could choose our baby fathers. <laughs> Hey, get this, you totally can, but only once, once per baby. I'm so proud that we're creating an international alliance of nationalists. Together, we will beat globalism. I see, no one tell them. <laughs> This is the best tweet since the Flat Earth Society announced it has members all over the globe. And they don't know why that was funny to say. They don't get it. They don't understand why that was funny. It's for me to laugh at and for them to feel proud about. It's a win-win. Hey, you got your Sydney tickets yet? If not, I got some I want to sell. I just found out that I'd be going to my grandma funeral that day. Hit me up if you're Zell slash Cash App ready. Only thanks. So you're saying you're preempting your grandma's death by six months? Oh yeah, oh my bad, she's dead already, it's her memorial. <laughs> Yo, whoops, he's active in free karma for you. Don't trust this man. Ooh, look at that hidden network. I'll never guess the password. I'll never, I'll never guess it. Thinking Bill Gates can do what he want on any given day might be the most naive thing you've posted. You sound like a 13 year old that wants to grow up and be a millionaire so you can eat ice cream for breakfast every day. Oh, sure mate. Keep working until retirement while I'll eat my ice cream for breakfast. Oh yeah, sure mate. Keep, I, I can't, <laughs> saying it without like trying to do an accent feels so weird. <laughs> sure mate. Uh huh, okay. Yeah, sure mate. Keep working until retirement while I'll eat my ice cream for breakfast. How does one not work until retirement while well, you eat ice cream for breakfast? That's, uh, that's the secret. Amazon's newest euphemism for overworked employees is industrial athlete. And I like that, that's a, fu that's a fun spin. Every home is worth protecting, except for these particular homes right here. Woman stranded at Croatia airport after arriving for a flight a, ye a year early? How do you, how, what, uh huh? How do you do that for the next year? I don't even think that's like a like a user, like a, a, a common mistake. You know, that's not something where the airline's like, hey, be careful, you don't want to book your flight for the next year. <laughs> no, this is dummy. This is goofball. Jesus. I always love seeing the withheld alumni out and doing well. This young lady has her own apartment and is working three jobs. I'm so proud of her. Now give me my frosty. A thief gets stuck between ATM and wall and hilarious robbery fail. A thief from Tamil Nadu recently had a hilarious faux pas. Excellent use of the word faux pas. When he found himself caught between an ATM and a wall while trying to steal cash. Just take the whole ATM. Just steal it. Steal the whole ATM. You can save face. No one's gonna look at you weird. You're like, you know, he wanted the ATM. That's fine. I get it. Take the whole thing. Yeah, I work with a flat earther at an airline. I uh, they don't know how that works out. So this lady came in this morning and walked up the front desk to greet us before gasping loudly and saying, I forgot my dog. She forgot to bring her dog with her to the vet. Well, maybe you can update her shots instead. Bernie Sanders should be forced to give away 90% of his birthday cake. Hashtag happy birthday, Bernie. Yeah, no, actually, this is how birthday cakes work when you have friends. Didn't know if you knew that, but typically the birthday, the birth, the, 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 the birthday haver doesn't eat 100% of the cake. <laughs> My boyfriend turned down five fully paid scholarships just to stay here with me. I really love this man so much. Yeah, your boyfriend dumb as sh Cough. While some Olympians are pursuing prestigious careers and university degrees outside of sports because they want to, many need to take on other jobs to pay the bills and sustain their sporting careers. Uh, I jogged a fun run 5k over the weekend and then went back to my day job on Monday. It's called life. Oh, I'm sorry, anonymous Twitter user. Are you a Olympian level athlete? Is that, is this, are you, are you the same? Are you on the same level? Shut up. Cloaked in the fur of their slaughtered brethren. I think you have a fundamental misunderstanding of how yarn is made. No, I know perfectly how it's made from the fur of slaughtered brethren. I got dumped for having red hair. My boyfriend's mom didn't want to risk having ginger grandchildren, so she made him dump me. He married a blonde and had two ginger kids. <laughs> 
Karma. My kids are blonde. And all four of them are stupid. I have proof. I have proof that BMW drivers don't know what a turn signal is. Uh, this weird green light came on. Should I be concerned? Yeah, it's called your turn signal, idiot. That one shows you're going to the... Yeah, left. Now turn left! They do say the pen is mightier than the sword, but perhaps Alan Slattery... Man fails to rob bank because staff can't read his terrible handwriting. Uh, yeah, no, I can't even understand that either. <laughs> Homeboy wrote in Simlish and said, all the money in the bag. But he didn't even bring a bag. South Carolina man steals horse, hides it in bedroom, deputies say. An upstate man is in jail after deputies say he stole a horse and hid it in a bedroom. Well, he just he needed a roommate. What's wrong with that? Cheerleading outfit top for Orem High School in Utah. Go hoes! <laughs> That's awful. That's terrible. But I mean, hey, uh, now you guys can cheer to that one song by the Lumineers and it'll be fitting because the song's called Hey Ho. How did she get there? She had a date with Michelangelo of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Don't mind her. She was experiencing turtle power. Here is the irony of a sign explaining the formation of sand dunes being covered by a sand dune. I tell you how that happens, but I don't know. The sign's covered. Attention customers. These in-demand items are not sold in store. PlayStation 5, PlayStation 5 Digital Edition, Xbox Series S and X. Check Walmart.com around for a vote, but what's, but the, I see like four Xbox Series S's right there. Do you think I'm stupid, Walmart? I can just open your funny little cage and steal it right there. I don't advocate for it, but do as I say, not as I do. <laughs> I live in Syria, and this story gave me the strength to carry on. Thank you for sharing her story. And what was the story? It's a classic. We've seen it before. It was Kendall Jenner eating grilled cheese, fries, crepes, and more for hitting the Met Gala red carpet. Because that's bravery, you heard? When you spent money on jewelry instead of music lessons. Now, that's just how, that's how the pro Pros play. I guess you don't know because you're not a pro. That's okay. You got time to train. You got time to practice. Maybe one day you'll be at the big leagues, buddy. Like Gia. Y'all really be arguing with scientists about science. I don't know why people think labels automatically classify you as smarter. It just means you got a job. Oh, Bobby. Bobby, you even spelt De Niro wrong. Your name's supposed to be... Your, his name Bobby De Niro? Like Bobby Money? Bro, it's, it's De Niro. Not... <sighs> All right, whatever. Okay, okay, whatever. The prize for this contest from Shake Shake, Shake Shake, all right, is ketchup packets. We're teaming up with Heinz to send one lucky fan a year's supply of the condiment we can't live without. Ketchup? Now you can never ask us for a packet again at our restaurants. With his handmade keychains that go for $5 each, this eight-year-old boy raised $4,015 to erase the lunch debt of students from his school and six others. Wow. Did you mean eight-year-old does months of manual labor so his friends who are children can afford to eat without going into debt? America, home of the hungry, land of the indebted. That being said, uh, can I get one of them, one of them, uh, keychains? Because I lost my keychain, so anything to help the cause. People who leave their phones set to military time are f war criminals. How do you look at 1605 and go, wow, I can understand that. F Bootlickers, what's next? You gonna go join the army? Recruit me? Send me to the Navy maybe with the YMCA boys? I, my brain forgot they were called the village people. <laughs> So I went with the YMCA boys. Oh, that's funny. Americans be like, okay, I can't count past 12 actually. And what about it? Took the batteries out of the carbon monoxide alarm because the loud beeping was giving me a headache and making me feel sick and dizzy. A hey, Ruth? I don't think it was the alarm. I don't think the University of North Texas mug designers really sat down and gave this product enough thought. I don't see anything wrong with it. It's just a friendly phrase. Yo, nachos for lunch at the high school today. <laughs> <laughs> oh, those are pathetic nachos. Is that Naruto? Man, he's looking awfully Western. In a bizarre accident, and I ain't even gonna try pronouncing that, a bride called off the wedding because her to-be husband couldn't read the newspaper without his glasses on. The incident took place after Arjun, who lives in Jamalpur Village, fixed his daughter's wedding with Shivam, who lives in Banshi Village. So your man couldn't read without his glasses on, and he said, nah, my babies need perfect 2020. You are terrible. You guys got all the way to the wedding, 
and you said, wait, you nearsighted? <laughs> Pathetic. Reading that Gwyneth Paltrow's clean beauty regime means she starts every day with a refreshing glass of alkaline water plus a spritz of lemon. Which makes the alkaline water no longer alkaline and highlights the magnificent level of BS that people will swallow from celebrities. Fun facts. Dude, I did it. I have my own business card. I'm so, 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 so happy. I sat in the parking lot of Office Depot and was smiling and crying. I can't believe these are real. Did you misspell Patreon? Oh, poor popcorn. Popcorn. Sorry, dude. Oh, God. I'm confused how he's homeless but has a working cell phone. Are you confused how a home costs more than a phone? Is this your first day on Earth? No. Start sweating nervously. Let's not go into 2020 being fools. Phone flipped over means either you hiding something or cheating. No, dummy, I flipped my phone over to let you insecure fools know I'm focused on you. Idiot. Dumbo. Stupid. And now you're single, cause you're too stupid. If you're not willing to have engagement photos like this, then we can't be together cause there's gotta be room for JC. Dude, imagine hating England. There is no country in the world more beautiful. You know, I feel like when people say I hate England, they're not referring to the plants and cows. Just a, just a thought. In the 1980s, A&W tried to compete with the McDonald's Quarter Pounder by selling a third pound burger at a lower cost. The product failed because most customers thought the quarter pound was bigger. This is why I don't argue online. Say no to atheism to the global prayer to end atheism. Guys, atheists are praying in mass to counter our prayers. Please, we need more prayers. We can't let them win. They're praying? Really now, are they really? <laughs> Look at his eyes while it tries to breathe. It looks so sad. Arr! Yo, I think your pug's gender is the least of our worries. How dare you? And that's a, that's a hard thing is like, I know the like pugs and even like Brick, he's like a, a more of a bracky breed. And so they have breathing problems. I got lucky with Brick because he's bred with something. His snout isn't all mushed in like you typically see on those breeds. But man, like seeing them and they just, they go, ha, ha, ha. Like, it, it makes you feel bad. That being said, uh, at least my dog's doing good. Brick's doing great. <laughs> Scammer made over $500,000 selling 5G repellent lotion online. Just called business, baby. What do you know about it, huh? Millennials aren't buying diamonds. Why? Uh, you know, I'm too busy filling out job applications that ask them to attach their resume and then enter what's on the same resume on the next page. It takes a lot of time. Bro, they deadass used Getty image photos of a shark and cropped it onto their poster. The DCEU is a joke. That's what stock photos are for? Did you think they actually photographed the dude chilling with sharks? Idiot. Yeah, he's Aquaman. That's what he does. Scoop. The Wisconsin pharmacist believes the earth is flat and the sky is actually a shield put up by the government to prevent individuals from seeing God. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Woman using guns laser sight to play with cats shoots friend in Kenosha. Well, there we go. Stupid games, stupid prizes. British tourist puts in complaint after holiday to Spain was ruined by too many Spanish people. While well, you were going to Spain. Are you from the United States or England? Australia. Wow, can you say something in Australian? I've never heard. Nah. <laughs> Australians speak English, idiot. Whoa, I just, I figured out the word hurt. It's past, present, and future. You will be hurt, you are hurt, you were hurt, because if something truly hurt, it never really stops. Oh, you poetic little sh uh, It's because it's an adjective. You will be stupid, you are stupid, you were stupid. That's because if something's truly stupid, it never really stops. My sister started eighth grade and it's all on Zoom, and today she got in trouble because she got up to get water during class. As she's getting yelled at, she looks at me and says, how does tell me I can't get water in my own house? Oh, that's gonna get you a bad grade. <laughs> what the f am I looking at? <laughs> this is just a bootleg thing. Why is this a facepalm? Uh, is Pink Panther a lion? I say that again, but slower. Uh, I don't get it. He's the Pink Panther? Uh, okay, but is he a lion? <sighs> Mac, Angel, light of my life. He's a panther. Is that a kind of lion? No, it's a <laughs> panther. <laughs> Yo, I just Googled, panthers aren't pink? What the hell is this cartoon character? What the f 
Am I being lied? <laughs> Am I being lied to by this cartoon? Here is an actual representation of periods. There's the vagina, and there's Dementors. Oh yeah, but it's nothing compared to the pain and sacrifice that our troops have felt for our country. They fought for your right to bleed and spend money on overpriced feminine products. So be thankful and stand for the flag and anthem, please. What? <laughs> who, who invited you? I'll see you in the shower. I love you, my queen. Thank you guys for watching. If you like this video and want to see more like it, be sure to subscribe. And until next time, my name is Damien. You've been watching Dealey, and I'll see you next time.